Hey everybody, Brad at Greenfield here again, and this is part two of our three-part series on creating a survey that we can actually put on our UT Extension SharePoint site so that the public can access them. We can hand out a um, we can hand out links or advertise links to our website so people can go online and create or, or complete this survey uh, and not have to send them to another address makes it uh, makes it a lot better we can have them going to our UT extension web page so um, first thing we're going to do is we've got to create a document for that code that we just pulled up if you remember the last thing that we did was we pulled up uh, we saved this uh, code here from Google Docs um, we saved that onto a text file on our desktop ca called test so a text file on our desktop called test. That's hard to say. So what we need to do is we need to get this onto the SharePoint site so that then we can call to it uh, in just a little bit. Uh, and that will make sense here in, in just a second as we go through this. So what I'm going to do is start off by going to Site Action, and then I'm going to go to Manage Content and Structure. Okay, it's uh, going to ask me to sign in exactly three times, and I'm going to select OK each time. So here we've got our content and structure. You can tell we're in the central region, so this is everything that's on the website. I'm going to go to Documents. I'm just going to mouse over it. I'm not clicking, but then I'm going to go over here to this little drop-down arrow, and I am going to click there. And then I'm going to mouse over New and open a folder. So when that folder opens, you know, you would call this... Um, whatever survey title you have I'm just gonna call it test so what I'm doing here is creating a document library or a document folder so I've got it called test I'm gonna select save okay so after I've got that folder created I come back to this and I'm gonna go up here and just click on site settings when I'm back here I'm gonna go to site actions then I'm going to go to, this time I'm going to go to View All Site Content. And when I view all site content, it's got everything broken down um, into categories. So here we see Document Libraries. I'm going to select on Document. That's where I put my uh, test folder there. And sure enough, there it is. So what I'm going to do now is click on it and click Add Document. And then I'm going to browse my desktop. I'm going to find that test file, just a text file. There it is, we see. So I'm going to open. There it is, that's fine. Uh, and I'm going to select OK. So now we look up, and there it is. There's our test file. Now, one last thing that we need to do here is I need to go to this page uh, so that I can link it in just a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this test, and that's OK. Just going to go to it. And it takes me to, if I look up here in my URL, this is actually a, a linkable uh, web page now. So what I'm going to do is click in there, highlight all of it, copy it, and then I'm going to open up just a little sticky note. Let me see if I can find my sticky notes here. And on this sticky note, I'm just going to paste in that URL from that text file. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to go about creating a page and actually link to this page. Um, and we're going to come back in here to this page and we're going to adjust some stuff. As I told you before, just remember that height and width. We're going to have to play with that just a little bit. So that's it for now. Uh, be back and we'll wrap this thing up with the third part of this series.